you can come out. I noticed you some time ago. I figured you'd have as much sense as Zack did the first time he met me. But it seems that you're not the running kind. You have some balls tagging me alone. Don't wolves usually hunt in packs? Right. You're far away from yours. That's a shame. Don't look at me like that. You could have stayed in Washington. You might have actually had a chance with your pack if you all worked together to stop us. But you didn't. And now you're here. Alone. Calm down. I have no interest in fighting you. If you try to fight me, I'll just leave. Simple. Now, you have a choice between chasing me off, or getting to go back to Uriah with some knowledge about what my intentions are. Yes, my intentions. Not Jericho's. Not Hezekiah's. Mine. Because dependent on your answer, I'll feel at liberty to help you. You'll hear the reason after you make your decision. Good to hear you're willing to listen. You've gotten close to Uriah and his better half, right? Let's pretend you didn't just lie to me and confirm that you've gotten comfortable with them. How about that? Good. I want in on their lineage. I made myself clear. I want in. Because I so just love working for a manipulative psychopath who wants to play his own fucked up version of House. Of course I'm aware of who I'm working with. I knew it the moment he walked up to me. Jericho doesn't care about any of us, and the moment one of us steps out of line, we get replaced. Ezekiah knows it too. Except he just keeps tempting Jericho to kill him by acting out. Because Uriah likes you. He values your opinion. And if you say that one of the people who was hunting your ass is actually a good person, then he'll at least think about not killing me. Things change, Wolf. One moment you're under orders to kill someone to ensure your own safety. The next moment, you're making deals with them to also ensure your own safety. I can't just leave. If I just get up and go, I'll have no support system, and Jericho will come looking for me. I need a lineage to blend into, and I need Jericho dealt with. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news. But the American vampire population is staggeringly low. Lineages are hard to find because hunters keep killing off any vampires that get together, and I can't just join any one. I need to join one that can actually fight Jericho. And a bunch of fledglings don't stand any chance against someone that's been alive as long as he has. Hence, why I want to join Uriah's. No. I've been meeting up with Zachary because I actually like him. I wasn't going to ask him to do this for me. What do you care? You just know him. You want me to tell you why I like this guy? He's hot. He's passionate about his music. He cares about people and he's the one vampire I know that isn't an asshole. Oh my fucking god, uh, what are you, his parent? 
I thought that was Uriah. As cute as he is, I'm not joining Uriah's lineage to be with him. I told you, I'm doing it for my safety. If I end up with him afterwards, then that's grand. But I'm not dumb enough to bank on my feelings to secure my safety. If I went to all this trouble to meet up with Zachary that often, and then to try and strike a deal with you, knowing that I could then get killed by Jericho, do you honestly think that I'd want to betray Uriah afterwards? You're right. I would do anything to be safe and far away from him. So I guess you'll just have to trust me. Ask Zachary then. He trusts me. I know he does. I could have killed him the first time we met, but you've seen him, alive, and walking, and I kept him out of Jericho's range. I've ducked and dodged around that psycho to keep him safe, and he knows that. You can ask him and he'll tell you. Fine. What do you want in exchanging for talking to Uriah for me? I... I can't tell you that. No, as in I literally can't tell you what he's planning. At first, Jericho was hunting you on orders from someone up in DC. I don't know who. But you killing Gerard Thane pissed someone off, and they want you dead for messing with their business. He had Hezekiah kill people wherever you went to up the bounty, but when he realized that you were headed towards New Orleans, something changed. He's been more secretive and more fixated on Uriah than you. It's safe to say that you're not his focus anymore, just an added bonus to whatever else he's got planned. I can't tell you what I don't know, Wolf. So ask something else, and ask it quickly, because I can't be out here too long without one of the others finding out about this. Blood magic. What the fuck is that? No, we're vampires. We can't use any other kinds of magic. Everyone knows that. Unless you're talking about Full Metal Alchemist, then no. I don't know what a Philosopher's Stone is. That I can tell you. But I'm going to make it clear. I don't know what he's planning, or when he's planning it. So whether he'll be there or not depends on when you act. Do you have a phone with you? I'm putting the directions into your maps app. We're in the west ends, but follow these when you're sure you can get there with backup. I mean that last part. You're tough for a wolf with one arm, but Jericho and Hezekiah won't pull their punches if they have you in one place. They'll kill you if you come alone. I've been chasing you across states for a while. I at least know a little bit of what you're thinking by now. Do we have a deal? As you can tell, I am desperate. I need this to work. So if you have a deal, then good. If not, when you kill Jericho and Hezekiah, I'll run the moment I can. I was a spy before Jericho turned me. I'm used to making backup plans in case something doesn't work out. Now do we have a deal? Great. I'll be seeing you around, Wolf. Thanks. You're not half bad.